Welcome to the ISVR reverberation chamber. This room is designed to reflect sound almost perfectly. So the sound that's coming out of my voice is being reflected off these hard glazed concrete walls and staying within this room. There's very little here to absorb the sound. And this means that the sound reverberates around. The room is designed to have non-parallel walls. And this means that we don't get flutter echoes building up. That's the ping pong sound that you get if you clap your hands in a stairwell with two parallel walls. Also above my head are acoustic scatterers, which help to spread the sound around and produce what's called a diffuse sound field. This is useful for doing experiments where we want to measure with, say, only one or two microphones and get a characterization of how much noise something is creating in total. One other experiment we can do in here is measure the acoustic absorption of a particular piece of material. What we do is make a lot of noise in this room and then turn it off and let the sound die away. The length of time that takes is called the reverberation time and that characterizes the amount of absorption which is present. If we bring in a piece of material, say a wall panel for absorbing sound or a cinema seat, then we can conduct the same measurement again and see how the reverberation time changes. By doing some maths, we can work out what is the amount of acoustic absorption by that piece of material. This section of the floor has vibration isolation built in. And this means we can do uh, railway measurements. One experiment we've done in this room is by attaching a section of rail to here and exciting the room with a very high intensity sound, we can measure how the sound is transmitted into vibration in the rails. This is called a reciprocal measurement and it tells us that if we vibrate a rail, it will predict how much sound is produced. So we can do almost a measurement in reverse. This room is also fitted with a high pressure air supply. This can be attached onto a horn, which then produces a very high intensity sound in this room, up to 140 dB. This is used to produce uh, very high pressure and vibration, which if we then bring something in which could be damaged by, by vibration, we can uh, simulate what those effects would do. We've tested satellites in this room. By using high intensity sound, we're able to mimic the vibration that the satellite will experience during launch. It's much cheaper to break a satellite here on the ground than when it's up on a rocket. Through these big bomb doors is another reverberation chamber. And we can use the two coupled spaces to test the transmission properties of different materials. We can open up these doors and build a wall or place a window in this gap and make a loud sound in here and then measure it in the other room. And this can tell architects and building designers how uh, high performance uh, a particular wall construction is. And the same thing, we can put it into an acoustic model or into an uh, environmental model and we can then predict what the noise inside a particular room will be given some road noise or traffic noise outside.